Welcome back. So, let's start on the next one. So our previous video, we were talking about the why now. And again, why it's just so important for us to really understand the why now is because time has changed. And if we're not going to be able to change with it, then we will be getting stuck badly. And like I said in the previous video, we need to understand ourselves, and that's an ongoing thing. And the thing I so see so much and it makes me really sad. We do not, we do not give us the time to really understand us. We work hours and days and weeks and years for someone else, for something else, for some idea. But how much time do we spend and give ourselves that to really understand who we are? What is all this? And the problem is you might say, it's just this, it's just the body, it's just you, it's just, I don't know what you're going to say. But it's so much more. And the problem is because we don't understand it, because we don't open our eyes, you can only see what you want to see. And if you just believe that, you will just see that. If you believe you are more, you will be more, you, can, you will discover way more things. And that's what I want to sort of get through you guys over and over again is the importance of do not let that go. It's an ongoing thing. So to work on yourself is a daily, daily thing. You cannot just read about it, think about it. You have to live it. You have to become it. You have to be curious every single moment of your life. You need to also open your eyes so you can see more opportunities, more ways, how things are, how people are. Now, the classic example is again with the with the BMW, Mercedes, or whatever car you want to buy. Let's just say you're going to buy a Volkswagen Golf, and then suddenly you can see Golf everywhere. Now, you didn't see them yesterday, but you see them today everywhere. Because you, your mind was tuned into that. So your eyes are starting to see. We do not see through our eyes. We see through our mind. Our eyes have to filter you know, in all the information, and it only can pick up the information that is important at that time. That's why I think we get stuck, because we think we know it, and that's it. We read about it, we can speak about it. It doesn't make it happen. So on that note, I want to talk about foundation and why that's important. Now, if you look at the house, you just see a house. That's it. You don't really see anything else. You can say, oh, it's a house. There's a lot going on to a house, because there's a few things that need to be right for that house to stand. Now, most of the time, somebody who's building the house know what I'm doing, and that's why it's standing. But if you get somebody who doesn't understand what they're doing, and he's building a house, it will not stand. And that's everywhere you can see that. Now, why I like about the foundation is I can tell you a little story. I was privileged enough to have a granddad who was a builder, and he built a house when I was about five or six. I was quite small, to be fair. And mostly I was working with him weekends. I say working, I probably just, you know, just play and chat. And, but I was very curious when I was a baby. I used to ask loads and loads of questions, loads of questions. And um, the thing that happened was, I would go, it, it, I would go to, to, to the plot of land. And my granddad said, this is going to be your house. And I just looked at it and said, there, granddad, there's no house there. What do you mean? There's, there's nothing. He brings me a plan. He said, look, there's a plan and we're going to build it there. I said, but I don't see that. I said, don't worry. He said, first we're going to do the foundation. I said, why? He said, because we can't build on top of the, of, of the ground. We need something solid. So whatever we're going to build on top of that will be okay. We'll support whatever idea we have according to the plan. So... We can't build three stories if we don't have three stories foundation. We can only build whatever the foundation is allowed us. So we, we make that the decision in the beginning. You don't dig that massive foundation to only build this much. So first of all, you know what you need to know what you want. You know the idea about the house. And then we start um, digging it. We start getting the concrete in. And yet I still didn't see the house. Now all, after all that work, it was still nothing. Because the foundation was underneath it. You didn't even see the foundation. 
And then I said to my granddad, I still don't see the house. And I walk and he said, no, look, here, so there's a lounge here. This can be a TV room. This can be your room. It's my room. Yet I didn't see that because there was nothing there. But then, brick by brick, we built up. And as long as you make sure the bricks are right level from one point to the other point, it will be fine. As long as we just keep that level. And before we go to the next step, we need to make sure that that row of, of bricks are straight and level, are, 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 you know, are level. And that's the importance there. You cannot skip when you're building a house. You know, every brick has to be good. And it was, it was very precise about this work. This work was immensely beautiful for the houses he built. But that has learned me about how we need to do brick by brick. And before you know it, you have the house. Where does it come from? Our foundation as human beings comes from our, our wherever we surround ourselves with, when we were children, our schools, our environment, our countries, our parents, they map out our, our, our things, our um, foundation. Because even if a kid has big dreams, if it doesn't fit in the foundation or the parents' idea about what life is supposed to be, it's not going to work. But then what happens is, when we grow up, we get loads of ideas. We want to try this, we want to do this, we want to change it, or we hear about something, or we learn about something. I say, oh cool, I'm going to change my life, I'm going to change this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Because we didn't change the foundation. Let's just say the foundation was only meant for one to uh, build up a second floor or first floor. The weight will not, uh, the foundation won't be able to sustain the weight, and the health will start cracking. It's the same like you can, if you own experience your own life, the relationship is, is classic like that. In the beginning, it's fine because it just, it does work in the beginning. But then, of course, then you get more flaws or more responsibility or more things you want to add to the relationship, like kids or moving together or moving to a bigger place or organize a holiday together, whatever it is. And you can see how much, how strong the foundation is about the couples because if it collapses all the time, when I hit that one place. That's why people don't want to talk about things sometimes in a relationship because they know that they don't have the foundation. I just call it a foundation, but I know that whenever I talk about it, there's, there's unease in, in a relationship. And that's a scary part because what we do then is we make peace with it. And we never go, we never be able to build on top of it. We just accept this little house we have. The other thing is we can do as well, I see as well, is people decorate the inside beautiful. Again, do not focus on the, on, on, on the foundation. And then, you know, they make sure everything is beautiful, they paint and, you know, make sure everything is nice and all the good furnitures. They focus so much on all, all these beautiful things. And it all looks beautiful, it all sounds good and it all looks good. But the minute we start living in there, everything falls apart again. And sometimes people just get tired of it and just give up. That's a sad thing about us because we give up on our dreams, we give up on the opportunity to grow, we, we give up on how far we can go with ourselves purely because we, don't, we never change the foundation because nobody even talk about us. And I always say it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost better to sort of, we do it in relationships all the time. Now, if you, if you think about it, you meet somebody, you don't go to somebody and say, hey, what is your foundation? No. We said, hey, how you doing? Can I complain? Do you like this? Oh, yeah, I like movies. I like this. We talk, we, what we do is pretty much we, we go and we divide them in the house and say, oh, I like this. I like this wall painting. And it's all good in the beginning. But what happened is everything has to grow. Every relationship has to grow. Every person has to grow. And then, then after five years or two years, then we start building and realize the foundation is not right. And we do it with our work, we do it, we, we keep on doing it. <laughs> Why some people are successful? You know what I mean? So again, um, some people just have all the luck. Why? Why some people can get so much done? I mean, we have the internet today. We have all the people, we have knowledge, we have people who have done it. We've got successful people all around us. And how can one person be so successful and the next person is on the street? have nothing, doesn't, even, doesn't have enough even energy to process teeth. 
you know, we can see example on, on, on YouTube again, um, amazing people, see what we can get done with our bodies. You know, it's, it's amazing to, I, I, I can spend, I don't say hours, but I can spend a good time of, of, my, of my time just was watching how amazing are we are. But we label it differently. We say, oh no, maybe it's just lucky, or maybe it's this, maybe that. But it's the same human being, the same body, same thing, what we have. But maybe their foundation was different, because when they were grown up, their parents, the society, the, 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 the way of being, has created a, a different uh, foundation, maybe a, a much deeper foundation. Even without, maybe even their parents knew it. So whenever they start building, it, the foundation is take, take it, so they can continue going up and up and up, because they do have a foundation. Or they're lucky enough to have somebody who can explain this to them when they were young, and again, get their foundation strong. And after that, they just build. So it's so important, and what we can say is, is you, can, you can, I always say this, it's difficult to see anything wrong with yourself, because we have the body guard, and it just will, it will blind us to all our, all our things. But if we look at other people without judgment, that's the important part. If you just look at other people in a sense of what can I learn? What can, what's this person doing that I can, I can learn from? Or I can see? Or why is this people stuck? Or why does this doesn't happen? Especially your friends, especially people you're close to because you know a little bit about their life. And if you start asking these questions and you will just see it like, the foundation is not right. Something about whatever they believe, even if they, even if they forgot about it, because the foundation only starts when you were young. It starts between zero and seven years old. That's when it all happened. And after that, we start building. You will see there's, there's some sort of something that they didn't extend. They still have a limited belief. They still have something that they blocked them, even though if they don't know about it. This is where the work comes in, where we have to be able to really sometimes have to break everything down, but not see it as a loss. Lots of people lose things, and they are so upset about it, they get so stuck with the fact that they just lost the house. Everything collapses in their lives. Yes, let it collapse. It's fine. Because if we have a strong foundation, we can build again. But if you do not have foundation, it's no point even trying to build, because you will do it over and over again. And sometimes when those people will, will say to you, they, they start, their life has changed when they hit rock bottom. When everything was gone, they say, now is the time to start digging a new foundation. And then at that moment, they had a new belief, a new way of seeing life. Like I said, there's hundreds of books about these things. I'm not trying to rewrite the book. I'm just trying to us understand all the importance of these things to 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 enter that to explain the body guard because the body guard is gonna. I have to. We, the idea is to sort of understand the body guard because we are gonna hit the body guard. We are gonna go against the body guard, and we need to have a big will to overcome that body guard. And if and what I try to do is get enough information enough knowledge about when we can have to face that body guard. We can understand what is happening there. And hopefully with all the information we have, all the knowledge in the world, we can push through. But the more we know about things, about how things work, about us, more information, more knowledge, more uh, reference that you can see around yourself, we will help you. It will help me as well. That's what I keep on doing myself. I keep on reminding myself. You know, what is wrong? What's my belief? What's my foundation? It's no point having dreams, no point having big ideas. Because it all in today will just collapse. Cool. Hope it all makes sense. And please, um, you know, uh, please, you know, if you guys want to give feedback back or comments, don't worry, I can answer it or I can try my best. And like I said, this, this is a learning curve from both of us. I, I, I'm teaching myself more and more about this stuff just by talking and saying it out loud. And hopefully, my hope, my, my dream was of course to get this message through to you guys. For you guys to have also make a change in your life. And this is what people will ask them so many times, like why can I not just change? What's stopping me? 
So let's get ready. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it.